is homecoming week on, weekend here on Mont Lake, and the Huskies are celebrating the 30th anniversary of that 91 national championship team. Has it really been 30 years? Mm, mm -mm. The team captains from that squad, Mario Bailey, Brett Collins, will join members of Don James's family as honorary captains for the pregame coin toss. And Mario Bailey, kind enough to spend a few minutes with us here now, one of the Husky greats. 30 years later, you still own the program record for receiving touchdowns. Do you ever think you were going to have it for that long? I didn't, but I'm happy I do. Yeah. I yeah. tell people that uh, people lie when they say they want their records to be broken. I want to keep mine. <laughs> well, Honesty. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out. You keep saying 30, 30, and 30. I was teasing Mario. I said, I, I got to figure out what night cream you use because this dude is like <laughs> aging in reverse. It's ridiculous. But, you know, I, I'm wondering as you see these guys come out, donning the old school uniforms, the crowd is back. After especially such a hard year last year. I mean, what does it mean to, you know, obviously it means what it means to me as an alum, but obviously as a, as a legend still up here in Seattle, what does it mean to you? Uh, the University of Washington means everything to me. I just want Coach Lake to be successful. I hope that we start winning again. Um, it's been a rough road to start the season, but I, I feel like we're going to bounce back. The Pac-12 has been competitive. If you've seen uh, Oregon last night, they could have easily lost to Cal, so that makes me feel a little bit better. Everybody in the Pac-12 is losing, so I think we have a great <laughs> chance to, to get better. Great analysis, analogy. I agree with you. Mario, you... Congratulations, first of all, for your team being inducted. That's a hell of an accomplishment. Secondly, I hated trying to defend you, but I want to know, because I know receivers, throw me the ball, I'm open. Throw me the ball, I'm, I'm always open. Favorite route? What's your favorite route? Uh, my favorite route is a dig route. You're kind of running across the middle, but I feel like nobody could get a great hit on you, even though back then we actually played football and they could hit you real hard. <laughs> but the dig route was my favorite route. 30 touchdowns, by the way, we should mention. Here's some, some footage. I, I miss those shoulder pads. Those are some nice, <laughs> nice shoulder pads. Uh, okay, so as we look at some of the, the memories and some of these games that you played in, and man, that's a, a beautiful sight, Husky Stadium, packed full. I know when Nigel Burton walks in this place, it's like a light goes on. And for anybody who comes back, it, this is really, really special. So being part of this program, even 30 years later, what when you talk to these guys and you're around it and you get to see some of your old teammates, what does it mean for you? It means everything to be able to have the privilege to talk to these guys, to be around this program. You know, all programs go through ups and downs, so I'm not really concerned with that. I just want them to know that we're here. All of the ex-players, the former players, the alumni, we're here to support in any way we can. And when they see us around, I tell them that this will be you, hopefully, in 20 years. You come back and you give it back, pay it forward. And I know all these guys, a lot of them want to go on and play afterwards and get to the NFL. And you have first-hand experience of that as well. Now also working as, with the Seattle Seahawks. I mean, what do you impart on them when it comes to, hey, you know, this is what it's going to take for you to get to the next level and the type of the type of uh, habits that you're going to have to have. Well, I gave an example. I'm, I'm at the Seahawks facility probably at 5:45 every morning, and I told them the first two guys that I see every morning are Russell Wilson and Bobby Wagner. So you wonder why these two are headed to the Hall of Fame? It's because they're putting in the work. You would think that these rookies or second and third year players would be there. No, it's Russell and Bobby every single day. It's those two. So I told them you got to put in the work and you can't let the opportunity pass you because at 30 years old and athletics, you're old. So you got a, a small window to make it happen. So work as hard as you can to make it happen. I love this guy's attitude and what he's I'm serious. I'm telling you, Mario, if you'd have come to Oregon, you'd have been playing corner. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you back, right back when I played, we dominated Oregon, so I wasn't coming there. <laughs> you know, you were. I, I can't even dispute that. Okay, okay. You know, well, obviously, this, this offense has had a little bit of, uh, let, let's be honest, I mean, it's come under fire early on in the season. Mm -hmm. But now, all of a sudden, the last couple of games, some things have come yeah, come fire for this offense. Now, with uh, Kate Otten's coming back, I mean, what's the expectation around here? What are you hearing in terms of what's what's been the resurgence? What has changed in how this offense is now starting to put up points? I think 
think it's an attitude. You know, you can blame coaching. You can always blame coaching or, or different situations, but it's an attitude. I told the guys, you compete against each other. You know, like as receivers, you're re competing against each other to see who's going to make the play. So I see a lot of guys making plays. I see the celebration, and they're competing to see who's going to actually make the next play. Mario, I, I, one thing before you go, because I know you've got a lot of people you want to talk to other than us schmoes, but... <laughs> Don James, there's been so many stories told about what an unbelievable coach and man he was. Your favorite Don James story? Uh, my favorite just is when I wake up every morning and I'm thinking about being late to work, I just think of coach every single day because he always told me being early, you're on time. Being on time, you're late. And if you're late, I won't say that on the air, but, you know. And so I have to live with Coach every day because I'm always trying to be early. Well, and I know Carol James, his wife, is here tonight, and she's an honorary captain with you. So enjoy all the festivities, and thanks so much for joining with us. What? I'm just trying to, you know, I know we're talking. Nigel doesn't you know, want you to leave. No, because, though, there's one other guy that, you know, we work with Lincoln Kennedy, and so just we'll make yeah. sure this is off air. we got to get some good Lincoln Kennedy stories. You know? Oh, I got some good Lincoln stories. <laughs> all right, we're going to take a break and listen to those then, and then we'll see if we can maybe. I appreciate you. Maybe